and welcome to my kitchen. And today we're going to spice things up with my mom's Cajun chicken linguine. So to get started, we have half a stick of butter melting over there on the stove. And to it, we're going to add um, four skinless, boneless chicken breasts that we've cut up into just little bite-sized pieces. So we'll get this in here. And you want this to saute until it's all white and cooked through. Get this in the pan, get it going. Oh, the so that butter melting smells so good. And then to this, and this is where we get our spice, is we're adding three tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Um, if you like things super spicy like I do, you can add up to five tablespoons, but today we're just going to do three. Oh man, and once that hits that warm pan, the smells just come out and it smells so good. So just stir this all up. Okay, so we have one nice even layer of chicken there. And while that's sauteing, we're going to get our vegetables ready. We got two peppers, one red and one green, and about six to eight mushrooms, button mushrooms, just white ones. And we're just going to slice these with stems on. And if you want to make this recipe a little bit easier, you can buy the ones that are pre-washed pre and pre-cut, so then you just throw them in there. But I bought these today, they're a little bit cheaper. I'm always looking to save a dollar here, here and there. And then our green bell pepper. We already cut up the red one. And to cut a bell pepper, I just like to go around and cut big chunks out of it. Throw away the little core. And then see this part here? It's the white part. You want to cut that out. It's kind of bitter and it's not very flavorful. So you want to cut that out of all of them. Put them off to the side. And then the seeds too. Try to get rid of the seeds. Um, you could leave the seeds in, but a lot of the heat is in the seeds. So if you don't like it, just take them out. Last one here. I'm going to go and stir chicken one thing. We really need smell vision today with this one here. It smells so good. Now to cut the bell peppers, we just want to get these in bite-sized pieces too. So we're going to take them and then first cut them into strips. And then we'll cut them on the other the other way into little square pieces. See that with all of them. And I use green and red peppers today. If you like a different color pepper over another, you can use all of the same, or you can use the red and the yellow. It doesn't matter. But I know you're going to love this recipe. My mom makes this all the time and it's to die for. I have no idea where she came up with it, but it's good. Everybody always wants her to make it. So good. So there's all our veggies. Pretty simple. So the rest of it will go over to the stove. So we've got our chicken sauteing here. You can see it has all the nice Cajun seasoning on it. And we're going to get all of our vegetables in here too. And we're just going to cook all those through until they're a little bit tender. So it'll be a take a few minutes. For as flavorful as this dish, dish is, it's actually really simple to make. And if you like spicy food like I do, you're gonna love it. So everything's coated with the seasoning and getting all tender. Now we gotta add a little bit more seasoning to this, like it didn't have enough. We're gonna add a little bit of basil, one tablespoon of dried basil. And also one tablespoon 
of lemon pepper. And then also we're going to add just a little bit of salt. And if you're watching the salt in your diet, leave it out. And then a little bit of cracked fresh black pepper too, even though it already has lemon pepper in it. Put a little bit of that. So stir it all up. Looks so good. It smells good. And the great thing about this recipe is if, if, if you have leftovers, I don't think you will, but if you happen to have leftovers, they are even better the next day. If the linguine just soaks up all the yummy flavor and oh, it's so good the next day. And over here we already have some um, linguine that I already pre-cooked. So um, just cook it according to the back of the box and you want to leave it just a little bit of, um, al dente so it can cook just slightly more in the sauce. So this is getting pretty much done. Now the last thing we're going to add that makes this super yummy and creamy and just oh so good is heavy whipping cream. Who does not love heavy whipping cream? If you're watching your diet, this is not the thing to make. We got um, one pint, one pint of heavy whipping cream and the whole thing is going in. Stir it up just a little bit more. See all the water and um, juices are coming out of the chicken and out of the bell pepper, so it's ma already making its own sauce at the bottom of the pan. Pour over all that yummy, heavy whipping cream. Stir it up. And this just smells as good as it looks. So now we'll add our linguine pasta to this, so everything can start cooking together. The longer you let this sit together, the more flavor that the linguine will soak up. But it's ready now. There isn't anything more to it. So we'll turn off the heat. We'll try it out. Get some of those yummy vegetables and chicken. All I need is a fork. I really wish you could smell this. It smells so good. Mmm. So good. You got the sweetness of the bell peppers and the spice of the Cajun seasoning. So good. And the creaminess of the heavy whipping cream, I wish that you guys can come and taste this with me right now. It's too bad for. Try this, but you gotta make it with love.